Blessings family, welcome to another video. This is Lady Be Unstoppable. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about Shaquilla Robinson from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm telling you guys, um, sometimes you are some friend or some so-called friend and you think are your friend. I know your friend them, you know. They plot, they plan, them do all kind of things behind your back. But I'm telling you guys. This one, I don't know, Mexican prosecutors, they said the last Thursday, because this is kind of late, I'm kind of late, that they opened an investigation into the death of a U.S. woman who was being beaten on a video that has gone viral, right? Um, so the prosecutor in the state of Baja, California, sir, said in a statement that they are investigating her D-E-A-T-H, Shaquilla Robinson. A state official who was not authorized to be quoted by name confirmed the victim was Shaquilla Robinson. The official confirmed that the group she had been traveling with had since left Mexico. And this was the news like the mid part of November because it's the end of November now. So basically a video is... Uh, on a social media that is definitely showing her being beaten up, allegedly. It has been reposted many times. Now, there was an interview with the mom and she was giving her part of the story. You know, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But, you know, in the video, it shows that the Shaquille allegedly was not fighting back. The mom told the news that um, when they started to do the investigation, she was happy to hear that. Because first of all, when the situation happened, you know, when the situation happened, them called the mom and said the lady, the Shaquilla have alcohol poisoning. That's what they said. And they informed the mom, informed the mom that the doctor was on his way. So I'm telling you how they said she had um, alcohol poisoning and there was no doctor there to diagnose that. Right? So the mom wanted to know why they couldn't take her to the ER. And their excuse was that they had to come up with $5,000 to take her to the ER. I don't know how valid is that. But anyway, when that happened now, she said they call her again later on that day and say Shaquilla passed. Medics came and tried to save her and they couldn't save her. You know? So the mom heard that there was a fight. I don't know how she hear if the video come out or however. But she heard there was a fight. And even when those um, friends came back to North Carolina... They were saying there was not a fight. When the mom got the autopsy result, the autopsy people them call her. Because she said police not call her until now, you know. When the autopsy people who them call her, she said Shaquilla, Shaquilla had a crack spine and her neck broke. You see, the, if, when you watch the video, guys, the epilic, you see she are getting her head, neck back. Yes. So after the autopsy, that's when the friends decide to accept the fact that a fight had happened. Because the autopsy didn't prove any alcohol poisoning. The autopsy proved that it was a broken neck and a cracked spine. Mm-mm. So now, what you think about this whole situation now? All them friends, yeah. We well, didn't say they're my friend. What you think about it now? Hmm? So basically, the Department of State give a statement, but they won't say, they won't say much about it. Right? Now, the mom claim or the mom said that these people went to college with her daughter and one of them, the guy, was our best friend. So how you did it as a best friend and said they beat down the girl and you know do nothing about it? 
That's a question me want to ask how are your best friend. And they might beat her down and you know go help her. That's why sometimes, you know, sometimes you, some, you, let me tell you, let me say this right. Sometimes, you know, you think, say, people are your best friend. But you are not their best friend. So you consider them your best friend, but they don't consider you their best friend. So when you find out, say, I know so you go, you know, reciprocate according to triple X. Yeah, have you do something about it? That's what I'm saying. You cannot have people as your best friend and them not have you as their best friend. Because right there's so something alright in a ninja man vice. You know? So there's an ongoing investigation, basically, and I'm going to keep in touch with what's going on, see if I can get any update. But I'm telling you guys, in this life, we have to be careful of who we hang around, who hang around with, because there are some wolf in a some sheep clothing. You are wolf in a sheep clothing. Now, we're not going to stop, but may I make it up. You have wolf in sheep's clothing. Because at the end of the day, if the man I did really our friend, if they were really friends, number one, you know, wait till I go to Mexico for go fight, girl. Number two, when people are fight the girl, you know, stand up and watch. If you are a real friend, you go go ahead and you go try to defuse the dispute. You know, stand up and watch. I know WWE this. You understand this? I know WWE. This is your friend. I beat your friend. So that's why we have to be careful who we call friend. Be careful who we call friend. And if you realize your friend and your enemy are friend, you have to go drop that their friend there. Tommy Lee's part of the one song, you know. And one day me hear that song that that song was a wake up call for me a couple of years ago. You understand? The part of the song say you are par with the enemy. You are move with the enemy. You are gonna tell the enemy my weak spot. I don't know all that, but the part they resonate with me. So a lot of times we have to evaluate the people we have around with and evaluate how influential they are and how we say they are my friend and how they value us. How you value yourself and how you then value you around them. I don't know if it may make sense, but this is a thing to be reckoned with because it is really... I know me take long for cover this, you know, but it really resonates with me. I watch it the other day upon Fox and I say, no, sir. But if I did a girlfriend them, how them, a beat, how them stand up and make sure I get beat down and nobody you know, try to defuse the situation. Something is not right. It's like a little plan. Allegedly. So, guys out there, be careful who you call your friend. Just make sure, say, the feelings reciprocate. If you are your best friend, make sure, say, them are your best friend. If them are your best friend, make sure, say, you are their best friend. You understand? But anyway, talk to me down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like, drop a share. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.